next two videos, we're going to learn about auto fit, auto fill and min max. And I'd say after, I don't know, six months, a year of using CSS grid, along with grid template columns, the auto fit, auto fill and min max are probably my most used pieces of grid. So uh, get, get ready. It's going to be exciting. So open up 12 auto fit and auto fill. We're first going to learn about what they are and what the differences are. Um, and then we're going to look at min max where you're going to, it'll probably click and go, oh, that's super handy. So uh, I've got a whole bunch of items here and, and now I've got the, the word item in it because I want these to be a little bit bigger and actually have some content inside of them. And we'll go and start to make some uh, columns. So we'll say grid template columns and we're going to repeat. Now, instead of saying repeat something like, I don't know, five at 100 PX, that will just give us five and you don't really know how many will fit because the the content of these items could be bigger, could be smaller. It depends on what is actually inside of them and it's likely not just numbers like we've been doing so far. So we have these keywords called auto fill and auto fit and let's see what they do. So auto fill, let's do that first. And let's about, let's try 150 PX. And right here, we have to sort of guess how big one will be. Um, but in the next video, we're gonna show how we can automatically size them. So what does autofill do? Well, it actually, you don't tell it how many columns you want. You just say, I don't know, figure it out. See how much content is in each one and then figure out how many you could possibly fit in that. So I've got my dev tools open. I've got the grid dev tools turned on to my container here. Now, when I resize this, you'll see that what's happening is as I resize, the actual items are just jumping onto the next line. And as there is just enough space to actually put another one, it's going to reflow the actual value there and break onto the next line. So that's great. Um, what is auto fit in as an alternative to that? That doesn't seem to to do anything different. So what's the auto fill? That uh, doesn't do anything. It looks like they're actually doing the exact same thing. So uh, let me actually show you what the difference is. The difference is when you don't have enough items to fill up the entire width or the height of a grid. So let's bring this down to four items, delete everything up until four, and then give that a save. Now what we see here is that when we have auto fill on, you it, it will sort of like chop up the grid into as many spaces as it can. So it looks like that here we can fit four, five, six spots. And then you see it ends the explicit grid. This is the, the edge of the explicit grid here. And then there's just a little bit of extra that is wasted space because we can't fit it. But as we were to make it bigger, it's going to pop on uh, an extra one. You see it back on and off, on and off just as we have space for that one. Uh, the difference with auto fill and auto fit, watch how we have it now, give it a save. You'll notice that it actually ends the grid right here. It actually also, it still shows us that we have seven tracks, but they seem to all be piled on top of each other. Um, I'm not sure if that's actually how it's supposed to work or if that's just a bug in, in laying out all the items there. But you see that the items, the grid actually stops right here and there's nothing done to the right. Now, why would that be helpful? Well, if we bring it back to auto fill, let's say I wanted to put this item here and this is something I do uh, quite often where maybe you've got um, a bunch of buttons here and then you want to like put something on the very right side. What we could do is we select item four and we just say grid column auto or we'll start it wherever it normally would start. And we're going to end it at the end, which is negative one. Alternatively, we could just say grid column end and just give it a ending value. And you see what happens is that it tacks it onto the end of wherever the grid will end rather than uh, putting it right where it would normally flow at the four line. Now, if we were to change that from fill to fit, there's there's no way to tack it onto the end because uh, there is no extra columns being added here. You simply just end it right here. So uh, how do you tell the difference between one? Well, you try one, and if it's not what you want, it's probably the other one. <laughs> that's the best I can uh, think about remembering it. Now, that's not all that useful, um, but in the next video, we're going to be looking at something called min max, where auto fit and auto fill do um, something a little bit different. So I'll see you in that video.